Hi everyone, I'm 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Tuesday, 11 a.m. update on the tropics and some significant changes in the forecast for Tropical Storm Brett, which you can actually see spinning right in there. This red shaded area is 93L. It's another invest. It's another wave of showers and storms that we're watching. It's now up to a 70 to 80 percent chance of developing. So I'll talk about that as well, too. First, obviously, let's start with Tropical Storm Brett. There's a look at the satellite and radar. Basically, you can see with the infrared satellite, we've got some colder cloud tops to the east of the center. But the center itself does not have a lot of large convection over top of it. There's some out ahead of it. If you look at it on visible satellite, you can kind of see that. In fact, let me move this out of the way. There's the center, right? You see it right there? There is some convection starting to fire up just to the northeast of the center right now. But it's fighting a little bit of dry air. Eh, a touch of wind shear in there. There's not a lot. In fact, if you look at the wind shear, most of it's up to the north. And there's a couple little spots in the middle there. Although that, that's not as much of an issue as it right now. But some of it is developing, so that's going to affect this a little bit. The dry air out ahead of it is really going to affect it, I think, the next several hours, next 12 to 24. And that's going to make it stay weaker. This is the big change. It is no longer forecast to become a hurricane. We were thinking 70 to 80 mile per hour winds, closer to 80, near Barbados or just to the north by Thursday. That was the original forecast. Now that's come down. We're going to go 50 mile per hour winds by tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, 65. So yes, some strengthening, but a slow process here because again, it's fighting off some of that drier air. And then by the time it gets into the Caribbean, the Eastern Caribbean, it starts to really see a lot of shear coming in from the north and that's really going to weaken it. So by Thursday morning, after it comes through the, the, the islands, though, it'll be down to 60 mile per hour winds. And then by Saturday morning, look at that. You can see we've got 50 mile per hour winds. So Friday morning, 60, Saturday morning down to 50. Also notice the track. The track is further off towards the west. Look at the forecast models. Remember, a weaker system will generally just go straight westerly across the, the Caribbean. And that's pretty much what most of the models are seeing at this particular time. So if you have interests, family, friends in the islands, Barbados, uh, the Grenadines, St. Lucia, well, St. Vincent, really, uh, Martinique, uh, definitely looking at winds possible in the tropical storm force range. So we're talking 55, 65 mile per hour winds with higher gusts than that in those areas. Of course, there'll be tropical heavy downpours out ahead of the center of the storm, uh, but it looks like the center will basically come right across the middle of the islands right now. So yeah, there will be some weather up towards St. Martin, up towards Anguilla, even up towards Puerto Rico, but it'll be kind of on the outer edges. It'll be more heavy rainfall than anything else. There's the dry air in the orange right there. So you can see the system's going to have to fight off some of that. Now there's a second system behind it, and it's actually not dealing with that because Brett is <laughs> providing some moisture. Here's the shear. Look at the shear in the Caribbean and up and coming in out of the Gulf of Mexico. This is what it's going to run into. Now this will change a little bit, but the bottom line is, is that that's what's going to slow this thing down. So here we go with the forecast model. Stop it by Wednesday and look at the shear developing to the north of this and kind of pushing down in from the north northeast initially. And then as it crosses the islands and we're talking Thursday and Friday, it's really going to start to feel the shear. Remember, the forecast brings it even weakening, it weakens even more as it moves into the Caribbean. And you can clearly see why. Look at all the shear coming across Puerto Rico. It's exactly what Puerto Rico wants to see. And in fact, if this happens, there'll be very limited rainfall for these northern islands because most of the tops of whatever storms are left over are going to get blown down towards the south. So more down towards Aruba than anything else. And then you can see as we get into Friday, the center of the storm somewhere here in the central Caribbean. Again, a lot of northerly shear, which I think is going to blow a lot of the rain off to the south as well. So pretty decent news, although San Juan, Puerto Rico have been so hot lately could actually use a little bit of rainfall. Now let's talk Invest 93L. This is Brett. All right, so it's the front runner. That does not look all that impressive, but it still has about a yeah, 70 80 percent chance from the hurricane center developing. Winds right now at 30 miles per hour. It's moving to the west at 15. It's a little bit slower than what Brett is moving. And if you look at the water vapor loop, there's all the dry air in front of Brett, but look at the moisture that Brett leaves over. And so this one's not dealing with that. That would give it a little bit better chance to develop. The good news with this is that most of the models that do develop it 
recurve it well out to sea. There's a big trough setting up here, highs pushing over to the east. That's going to open the door for most of this to move off towards the east. And I think it's not anything that we'll have to worry about. And in fact, if you look at the even the islands, most of the islands will not have to worry about this one as well, too. We'll keep an eye on it. The forecast may change. But right now, good news for that. Hopefully a recurve. And it does look like tropical storm conditions in the islands for Brett Thursday into Thursday night and part of Friday and then gradual weakening across the central uh, Caribbean for tropical storm Brett. For the latest, don't forget you can always tune in to 10tampabay.com.